Okay, here we're going to convert our revenue and expenses from the cash basis to an accrual basis. And we're going to do it through a real quick method here where we use our revenue and our expense as a balancing entry between the cash basis and any change we have in either our operating liabilities or operating assets. Okay, the examples I'm going to go through here for our liabilities will be our unearned revenue and our accounts payable. Unearned revenue will affect our revenue here as far as net income and the accounts payable will affect here our expenses here as far as our net income. Now on, for our asset accounts here I'll go through our, our accounts receivable and our inventory or prepaid expenses. And our accounts receivable will affect here our revenue as far as net income and the inventory uh, or prepaids will affect our expenses here as uh, net income. Now that gives us all four situations here that we'd have to handle when we're converting our cash to our accrual basis. Okay, looking at our first case here where we had a credit balance here in our unearned revenue of $6,000 and a debit balance here in our cash of $100,000, we'd have a balancing entry here to our accrued revenue of $94,000. That would be the $100,000 debit balance in our cash minus the $6,000 credit balance in our unearned revenue. Now in the case here we had a debit balance of unearned revenue of $5,000 and a debit balance here in our cash of $100,000. Our uh, balancing entry here for accrued revenue would be $105,000. That would be the $100,000 debit balance in cash plus the $5,000 debit balance here in unearned revenue. Okay, looking at the case here where our accounts payable had a credit balance of $15,000 and our cash account had a credit balance of $100,000, our balancing entry here would be to an accrued span expense here for $115,000. That would be the $100,000 credit balance here in cash plus the credit balance here in accounts payable of $15,000. Now if we look at the case here where you had a debit balance here in accounts payable of $25,000 and of course our cash credit balance here would be $100,000, our balancing entry here in our accrued expense would be $75,000. That would be the $100,000 credit balance here in cash minus the $25,000 debit balance here in accounts payable. Okay, looking at our accounts receivable, where we have a debit balance here of $50,000 and our cash account had a debit balance of $100,000, our balancing entry here would be to accrued sales revenue of $150,000. That would, be, uh, would include the debit balance here in cash of $100,000 plus the debit balance here in accounts receivable of $50,000. Now in the case here we had a credit balance of $10,000 in our accounts receivable and a debit balance here in our cash account of $100,000. Our balancing entry here to sales revenue on a crude basis would be $90,000. Now that would be the $100,000 debit balance in our cash minus the $10,000 credit balance here in our accounts receivable. Okay, now looking at our inventory or prepaid expenses, let's look at the first case here where we had a debit balance of $20,000. Now, our cash account has a credit balance here of $100,000. So our balancing entry here to uh, cost of goods sold on our accrual, accrual basis would be $80,000. That would be the $100,000 credit balance in the cash minus the $20,000 debit balance here in the inventory account. Now looking at the case here where you had a credit balance here of $12,000 in our inventory and our cash had a credit balance here of $100,000. Then our balancing entry here would be to our cost of goods sold uh, on a, for the inventory on our accrual basis of $112,000. That would be the $100,000 credit balance here in cash plus the $12,000 credit balance here in the inventory account. Okay, in summary, we're able to convert our cash basis to an accrual basis simply as a balancing entry here 
in our revenue or our expense account and that balancing entry represents the accrual basis for that revenue and expense and I rebalance this revenue expense with whatever is sitting in our cash account here and whatever changes we have in our operating assets or operating liabilities.